This week on The Aviators, we're going behind the scenes of one of the largest air shows in North America. Almost anything can happen as we follow air boss Wayne Boggs, the one man responsible for the show's success or failure. Mike Wiskus shows us what it's like to be an air show performer for a day. His performance may be routine, but everything else is up in the air. And on top of that, weather threatens to cancel the whole thing. The Aviators is made possible by... Zeon's PCAS XRX, the first ever portable collision avoidance system with direction. The XRX shows traffic information on its screen or on a wide variety of compatible GPS displays. For more information, contact Zeon Flight Systems. It's early morning on the second day of the six-day air show at Sun and Fun. No, you're going with me. Air boss Wayne Boggs is on his way to one of a series of daily meetings that take place before the show even begins. We had a couple incidents yesterday, one with the uh, buildings over there by the... In this case, it's a crash fire rescue meeting designed for the air show organizers to coordinate with first responders. They can over on that channel and they can talk to us, but they need to let us know what it is. But stress to them, Wayne may not be leading this meeting, but he's far from a silent participant. Uh, they're jumping up. Everything looks clear to them, you know, and they're jumping up and down because the longer they wait, the more bills up out there and the more in, and the day that they get with aircraft. The Airboss is essentially the ringmaster of a complex aerial three-ring circus. He has to oversee vastly different issues, from simply keeping the show on schedule to ensuring the safety of the performers and spectators. Wayne is ultimately responsible for the air show's success or failure, and is the one man who can decide whether or not the show will go on. You're going to see some maneuvers with her on the top of the aircraft. For the air show at Sun and Fun, the stakes are high. It's a major five-day event that's part of the annual Sun and Fun fly-in. More than 200,000 spectators are expected throughout the week, and Wayne has to coordinate with more than 40 performers, including the high-profile Blue Angels Navy jet team. The first day of the show essentially went off without a hitch. While it certainly wasn't bright blue sky weather, and there were some showers, the performers were still able to do their thing and wow the crowd. But the outlook for the rest of the week doesn't look as clear. Turn about tomorrow is the day. Uh, we're looking at 50% chance of rain. It's gonna be okay today, pretty much cloudy. Problem is tomorrow, sometime after eight in the morning, between that and 2 p.m., cold friends coming through, bringing some weather through. Weather has quickly become a potentially major hurdle for Wayne and his team. Not only is there a possibility for the entire air show to be canceled on day three, but it's also delaying the arrival of Blue Angel number seven, the jet team's narrator, and an important liaison between the show's organizers and the military. But today and tomorrow is sort of going to be skewed with this thing. Whenever the narrator does get here, as soon as he can get himself uh, debriefed with his crew chief and get his airplane locked up and stuff, within 45 minutes he'll hold a narrator's brief. Now that could be any time today depending on when he arrives. So a representative or whoever just sort of needs to be on call for that. Now tomorrow, <laughs> with the weather the way the weather is supposed to be and everything the blues are supposed to do tomorrow, that all could blend into Friday. 